Hello everybody, Sal here. A very warm welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today uh, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 fragrances um, I have in my collection. So these are my top 10 picks for life. Um, so if I was told that I could only choose 10 from my collection to keep forever, these are the 10 that I would choose. If you guys are new to my channel, then a very warm welcome. Um, I create videos all about fragrances. If that is the kind of thing you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do make new videos every single week, all about perfumes. So if that is your sort of thing, then please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber of mine and you've been watching my videos for a while now, then thank you so, so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate every single one of you. So this was quite difficult to choose, um, of course it would be, you know, but I am really happy with my choices and I do feel quite um, content with the 10 that I have chosen. So the first fragrance in my top 10 list is a rather unexpected one. So this is a fragrance which I didn't love at first, in fact I didn't really like it at all, um, but I gradually grew to love it and now I definitely wouldn't want to be without it in my collection. And that fragrance is the wonderful, iconic Mugler uh, Alien. So this fragrance is absolutely um, stunning, it's very well known, it's a very kind of deep, sensual, jasmine, ambery fragrance. This one is so womanly, it's kind of, it reminds me of like a powerful goddess woman. Um, it's just so attractive, it's beautiful, I adore this one. Um, it kind of goes without saying that this is like a powerhouse fragrance, it's very long lasting. Um, I absolutely adore it, I adore the packaging, I love the fact that it's refillable as well, so it has that um, eco-friendly aspect to it and it means that I get to keep this bottle forever and just keep refilling it, which I absolutely love. There's so many things I love about this fragrance. I love the level of sweetness in here. It is not too sickly sweet. Um, so if I don't wanna choose like an obviously sweet fragrance, then this is a really nice kind of option. So there is a sweetness that just comes with the notes that are in there. So the jasmine, the amber and the woodiness gives off an almost natural kind of sweetness, which I just adore. This fragrance would be amazing for like a date night or somewhere where you want to make an impact. Um, if you're going somewhere where you want other people to be able to smell you, this is a fantastic option just because it does have that projection and that longevity also. So I adore this one. Um, the way that I discovered that I actually loved this one is because I tried the Eau de Toilette first because I did find this one too heavy at one point. Um, it was too much for me so I got the Eau de Toilette first and I craved that one more and more and then once I realised how much I loved that one, like um, once I realised how much I loved the alien DNA basically, I then gave this one another try and now I adore it. So that is the Mugler Alien. Next up today is another Mugler fragrance and it is the wonderful, amazing and unique uh, Mugler Aura. So I adore this fragrance. Um, if you've seen some of my recent videos, you know that I recently added this one to my collection. Um, it's quite a polarizing fragrance probably. It's quite unusual and just very strange, but that is um, the main reason why I adore this one. It's kind of uh, minty and green and fresh and menthol, slightly medicinal, and then all of that is backed up with like a warm, rich, woody, vanillic, um, richness basically. So it's a deep vanilla kind of woody fragrance but also it is kind of green plant-like, slightly minty and medicinal. So you know just as you can imagine from that description you're probably thinking like what on earth you know and that's what I thought as well when I first heard people describing it in that sort of way I thought like what on earth could this possibly smell like but um in my opinion anyway, this works so, so well. It is addictive because it has that unusual contrast of notes in there. It just makes it so addictive to me and I really cannot stop smelling it whenever I wear this. So I absolutely adore this one. Um, similar to all of the Mugler fragrances, the longevity, projection, strength of scent, all of that is really good on this one as well, which I really appreciate. Also, this bottle is refillable, so I don't need to have that like, um, worry about running out of my fragrance because I can just refill the bottle. So that is Mugler Aura. 
Next up today, oh my goodness, you guys, I adore all of these fragrances so, so much. Um, so next up on my list is this stunner, which is my Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. I adore this fragrance. Again, this one's quite addictive, actually. I just really love this one so much. So this is a sweet kind of coffee, white floral, slightly fruity as well. Um, the only fruit that I can remember that's actually in here is pear. So they have pear in the top notes. Um, which which gives it a kind of fruity, uh, well, a pear kind of fruity brightness. Oh, so it's like coffee, a creamy latte kind of fragrance with um, different white florals, jasmine, I can't really remember what else is in here, orange blossom as well. And when this dries down, it becomes more vanillic. Um, it's quite heavy on the vanilla, I would say. Um, vanillic in a coffee kind of way. This fragrance to me lasts very well, um, it also projects, I can definitely smell it on myself all day without having to like smell my wrist. It does emanate a beautiful kind of smell all day and I can even smell it through my mask, which I love. Floral, coffee, sweet, addictive, beautiful fragrance, which I think would actually be suitable for daytime or nighttime. I think this was maybe created with nighttime in mind, however, I love wearing this during the day, I love wearing it whenever, to be honest. To me, it's quite versatile. I don't think it's limited to just um, nights out or date nights or anything, although it is perfect for those scenarios. Um, I do think it's very versatile and I wear this day or night. So that is the gorgeous Black Opium. Next up today is the wonderful, again, a very classic, iconic fragrance, and that is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. This fragrance is amazing. I've done several videos on this fragrance. I've done a full range review on the Mongrelan um, fragrances if you're interested. Um, I've also done a video on all of my Guerlain fragrances where I talked um, a lot about this one as well. So I adore this fragrance, you guys. It's amazing. Um, it's kind of aromatic, it's sweet, it's soft, it's smooth. Lavender, vanilla, woody um, licorice floral, um, but mainly I would say it's kind of um, vanillic, aromatic, herbal, sweet, but all very, very soft, diffused and feminine. So um, it's a very, very um, classy, soft, beautiful feminine fragrance, which again is extremely versatile, which I love. So I can just spray this on any day, whether I'm going to work, whether I'm staying in, or whether I'm going somewhere special, this does it all really. Um, you can't go far wrong with this one. Um, it performs really well as well. This one tends to last more or less all day on me. So that is the stunning Mongerlan. Next up today is one which I haven't been reaching for an awful lot recently, but that's purely just because to me, this one is dressier. It's more suited to when you're kind of dressed up and you're going somewhere um, fancier, I think. Um, and that fragrance is the beautiful Delina Exclusive by Parfum de Marly. This fragrance is wonderful. It's kind of a rosy, powdery, creamy, um, sweet, woody, slightly fruity fragrance. And um, this is amazing, actually. I much prefer this one to the original Delina. The original Delina was a bit too sharp and bright for me, um, although I can fully appreciate that it's a stunning fragrance. It just wasn't quite for me. Like, I prefer fragrances like this that are just a bit more, like, subtle, a bit more mature, maybe. You could maybe consider this as a more mature version of the original. Um, the original one is really kind of youthful, bubbly, lighthearted, um, kind of yeah, outgoing, that kind of fragrance, basically. And this one is just a bit more refined, I think. It's a bit more toned down, um, richer. This has got more prominent woody notes, vanilla notes, and it's just a bit creamier, more powdery and things like that. So I much prefer this one. This is the one that I have. I don't own the original Delina. And to me, this is the ultimate, um, what's the word? If you are going somewhere very special or if you have a very special occasion and you just want to smell the very best that you can, this is the fragrance um, that I would want in that situation. So whether it's like a wedding or um, a very special event, that kind of thing, this fragrance is just kind of the best uh, perfume for those kind of situations in my opinion. 
that's why I would never want to be without this one because although I don't reach for it that often I do think that it's nice to have one a fragrance like this um you know a fragrance where if you just want to um you're dressing to impress you've got a very very special special event um, and you want a, the perfect fragrance for that situation, this is the one. Next up is an absolutely stunning fragrance and I don't hear it talked about that often. I think it's quite underrated and um, perhaps not that many people know about it, but I have certainly fallen head over heels for this fragrance. It is a dark, powdery, sweet, um, but in a sweet in a very mature way. It's seductive, it's the perfect evening kind of date night fragrance and that perfume is the beautiful Kenzo Flower Elixir. So this scent is just everything, you guys. It is just amazing. It smells sweet, but in a very refined, expensive way, basically. Oh, so if you've smelt the original Kenzo Flower, it's kind of like that, but it's kind of leveled up, in my opinion. So this is like richer than that. It's got a deepness, a darkness, a sensual feeling about it. It's um, got some, I believe it has raspberry in the top notes, uh, praline and probably similar florals to the original Kenzo flower, although I'm not sure. Um, but this is, this one is kind of more of a gourmand version of the original. It's like dark, almost smoky, um, beautiful, just so feminine as well. This is kind of like a femme fatale kind of fragrance. Um, I think if you have a date night, if you just want to smell absolutely, utterly divine and magnetic, this would be the perfect fragrance. I just adore it. Um, I think this one has pretty good longevity as well. This fragrance is quite weighty, it's a little bit syrupy, very powdery, rich, sweet and absolutely stunning, you guys. So that is Kenzo Flower Elixir. Next up is the beautiful fragrance Narciso Poudre and it's kind of funny actually now I think about it this one when I first tried it um I was at uni this was like several years ago I think maybe say around three four years ago I tried this one and I just really didn't like it at all I think it's really funny when that happens like when you try a fragrance and you remember distinctly really not liking it and then maybe a few years later you give it another try and you just completely love it and you're kind of thinking how did I ever dislike this fragrance um, but that's what happened with this one so the first time I gave it a try I was kind of like oh my goodness no but at that time I wasn't a big fan of powdery fragrances so maybe that's why I didn't like it but anyway now I adore it so this one is a very clean pampered manicured kind of fragrance it's powdery um, sweet in a very natural way so it's not obviously sweet um, It's uh, the sweetness comes with the kind of notes that are in here but I don't believe that they have specifically put in a, a note just to give it sweetness if you know what I mean like there's no vanilla there's nothing obviously sweet about this but um, it's just the ultimate kind of natural beauty kind of smell this smells like natural beauty there's nothing like synthetic in here, it's woody, it's kind of a little bit sweet. So this one is just amazing, you guys. It's kind of a sweet, natural, woody, um, floral, powdery, musky fragrance, basically. And it's just absolutely heavenly. There's actually something almost slightly reminiscent of kind of Play-Doh in here, because it's just so unique and distinctive. There's almost something slightly Play-Doh-like in here, which I do adore. Like, I adore everything about this fragrance. It's perfect for every day, it's perfect for, like, work, um, or just kind of any situation, really. So it's very versatile, and I just adore this one. The performance is really good. I would say the performance of this one is kind of similar just to all of the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. They all perform fairly well, actually. Um, and this one is no exception to that, and I absolutely adore it. So that is Narciso Poudre. Next up is this stunning uh, La Nuit Tresor à la Folie. I'm sure you guys are maybe tired of hearing me mention this one by now. <laughs> I do talk about it quite a lot, but that's just because I love it. So this one is a very unusual, fruity, floral, but very, very vanillic fragrance. So this is almost what I would consider to be an unusual vanilla fragrance. So it has benzoin, it has vanilla, which I would say are kind of the more prominent notes in this fragrance. But it does also have some violet, it has some other florals. 
and red berries as well. So the way that I often describe this one is um, that it's similar to like mulled wine or like kind of Christmas cookies. So because it has like the red berries and everything like that, um, but it also has vanilla and very like delicious warm benzoin kind of vanilla notes. It's almost somewhere between mulled wine and like freshly baked um, Christmas cookies, if you can imagine that. It's just divine, actually. This one is stunning. It's so girly. It's so feminine. Um, it reminds me of a cozy jumper. It reminds me of sort of... Um, festive sort of times like Christmas time I think also because it does have some uh, light spices in here like nutmeg but it's not spicy in like a chilly kind of way that's something I was slightly concerned about with this one um, because I heard that it was spicy and I sort of worried about that but it's not spicy in the way that you would think it's sp it's spicy in the sense that it has like warming spices that you would find in Christmas baking, just purely that sort of way and it really complements the rest of the fragrance. It's a very, again, a very soft, easy going, like it's quite easy to like in my opinion um, and it's not as in your face, it's not as obnoxious as the original, like nowhere near as obnoxious as the original. This one is more reserved but it's still beautiful, um, it's unusual, it's unique, it lasts very well on the skin, um, it's just stunning. I absolutely love this one, you guys. Um, so that is the beautiful Lanouille Trezor à la Folie. And next up I have the Lanouille Trezor Original, which you might not have expected me um, to mention in this list, and I sort of wasn't really expecting to mention it either, but I was thinking about it, and actually this is kind of a really beautiful evening date night fragrance and I wouldn't want to be without this one. Although I don't reach for it as often as my other fragrances, I don't reach for this one as often as the Alla Folie. I do wear the Alla Folie much more often, I think it's more versatile. Um, so I don't reach for this one like a huge um, amount of the time. However, I do always want to have it in my collection just because it's sort of like... Um, I almost want to say it's like a secret weapon like to, <laughs> to bring this out if you're going on a date or if you're going out at night um, or if you're going anywhere where you want to smell uh, beautiful basically and you want other people to be able to smell you even from like a fair distance away just because this does have that um, powerhouse kind of aspect about it. It's beautiful, it's flirty, um, very very beautiful and just the ultimate kind of uh, a date night kind of fragrance and I would never want to be without this one for that reason. So it's stunning, I adore it, I absolutely adore it. Um, so that is the Lanoui Trezor original. And last but by no means least is my beloved beautiful amazing Poison Girl. So I adore this fragrance, um, it was kind of the first fragrance that I truly truly fell in love with. Um, when I first started my channel I was mentioning this one all the time just because it was like my first real love I suppose I think as far as fragrances go I was obsessed and I still am obsessed with this one to be fair it's kind of a sweet bittersweet um slightly powdery beautiful fragrance I think I saw Lala Da Beauty um, she was describing this one and she actually described it in a way that I've never thought I've never thought to describe it in this way but as soon as she said this I thought you know she's absolutely hit the nail on the head there so what she said is that it's very very sweet which it is but um, it's very balanced because of the balsamic notes in here so in the base there's like very balsamic notes um woody notes I think there's sandalwood um balsam that kind of thing and it really balances this fragrance and it stops it from being too juvenile so they've got such an interesting mix of notes in here it's very sweet very very girly feminine flirty all of those things but it's not too juvenile because of the beautiful base notes that they have put in this fragrance this one is addictive it's so addictive you guys like it's just beautiful like it's such a treat to smell this fragrance you have no idea <laughs> i love this one this is another one of my ultimate kind of uh, date night fragrances without a doubt it just makes me feel beautiful because you know you smell good when you're wearing this if you know what i mean i just adore it um i love the bottle i love the name poison i love like the concept of the whole poison line and i just adore this one you guys i really really do so there we have it my beloved beautiful top 10 fragrances in my collection for life 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I will see you all very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.